Sterling here from the Oceanside Film Festival. I'm here with the director of The Current, a film that recently just played here at the Sunshine Brooks Theater in downtown Oceanside. Kurt Miller, uh, Boulder, Colorado, director and producer of The Current, and uh, happy to be here. It's exciting. It is such an amazing experience to see these people feel like they've gotten a second chance. And uh, I was just wondering, what was the feeling you had when filming this actually occurring? It's Well, it's amazing. The, the disabled athletes, that are what I'll call them athletes in the film, are so inspirational. I think each one of us get up every morning, we're complaining about our back or something like that. And to actually see people that have succeeded far beyond expectations, you know, where they, you know, double amputees in Afghanistan that have come back and you know, live the normal life and do that. So I think when you look from a point of a person that's not disabled is inspiring us to do better in our lives, but also is to pick up those people that have been disabled and say, hey, it, it'll be okay. You know, you can get through what you're going through. You have a chance to do this. You can live a normal life. Um, three of the characters, you know, all got married while we were shooting. So it's kind of a, a, an evolution of people getting over a disability and going forward with their lives. After the film had been finalized, have any of the characters in the film undertaken this kind of activity uh, regularly now? All of them, actually. Each of the athletes in the film are spectacular. They're heroes, and I am with a group, MakeAHero.org, and you know our goal is to make heroes. And each of these are already heroes. They've succeeded. You know, Anthony missing a leg, NCAA wrestling champion. We taught him how to ski. He'd never been in the snow. We taught him how to scuba dive. He'd never even been in the salt water before, and he's diving with sharks. And now we're going to go out and, you know, scuba dive with great white sharks. He's like totally going after it. So these, this group here, but really what we're showing in the film is the healing powers of the ocean. So one of the things that's an equalizer is water. So if you're disabled, getting in the water, being able to go out there and do that has just been amazing. And these people continue to dive, scuba dive, kayak, anything you can do in the water is so healing. So. When you see people that have come from such the bottom of the barrel, as Grant Corrigan says, you know, he's sitting there, he cannot feel his body, and it feels like his body, and here he is, a guy that's, you know, surfing with Bethany Hamilton from Soul Surfer, who lost her arm to a shark. It's that we, you can change your life today. You just make the decision to change your life, and you can do anything. You can be the most successful person in your mind. You know, just do it. And it's the smallest steps. You got to take a small step before you can take a big step. And I think one of the things is to take away is the ability to change your own life, to help somebody to, you know, I ask people, they well, how can I help a person with disabilities? Like volunteer uh, here in Oceanside, they have surf camps for people that are disabled. Go down and volunteer, take your kids down just for a little while. It will change your life forever. Sir, thank you so much for making this film and spreading this message. Um, plural messages, there's so much to learn from this. So thank you so much, and it's great that you guys are able to put stuff like this together so ever people can see it, so thank you. Uh, and thank you right back now, you know, so uh, please enjoy the rest of the day, and this is Sterling, signing off.